Hi, Bear. Did you enjoy your dinner? Bear. Think. He's a good boy. Okay. This here is going to be a quickie little how to video to aid somebody in an RV forum who's not quite sure how to go about making this work. What we've got here is uh, we're going to show how to make TV speak through the car stereo. And we're going to give a couple of options here. Okay, right now I've got the TV sitting on a computer. That's that guy right there, and it is uh, set up. Right now it's not plugged in, but it also speaks through the uh, stereo. Take this over to the TV. Hello, Johnny, okay. it's Leslie. Come in, anybody? This is speaking they got this area through this car up. stereo. Head up through these speakers here. And here, Sorry, plus the ones in the back. Any way to do this on a flat screen in particular, if you're nice and close, like I am, this is mounted right up front by the dashboard. Let me turn this down. Yes. Come by. Did it? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, let us take the measurement. At any rate, try to get in here and keep some light on the subject. What you'll see. Get light in here. With a simple RCA plug, it terminates into a jack, like a headphone jack. And this is the other end of that. Just a simple stereo headphone sized phono jack on this side. On the other side of that cable, we have two connectors that look like this. These are RCA connectors. There's a red one and a right one. They are also color-coded on the television. You just plug them in color to color. And nice and close like I am here. You just plug it straight into what is a uh, auxiliary port. We'll get up close. In the radio, like so, if you have one. This is the simplest setup you, you the simplest type of setup you can have. Now, onto the computer part. If uh, your TV is too far from the radio for one of these to reach, you can of course get a longer one, or you can get an extension. Okay. If you don't have a setup like that, but you do have a tape deck like this, this used to be the radio in this in this motorhome. You can still do this. Use this as you would use this as a, a prop here. You would need a piece like this. Quite simply, it is a female end and a female end. You would take this this end coming out of your radio or out of your television. Simply plug into the into this jack like so. We'll use this side. Okay, you have that going that and like so. And you can grab a component like this. I'm sure, and you've probably seen these typical standard everyday cassette adapter plops in. Then you take the other end of that and plug it in like so, and you'll play through the tape deck. Now in both of these applications, your radio becomes the one, the component that controls the volume on your TV. So if you don't have a remote control for the radio, you will have to get up and tune it right here. Or use a remote. Now, if you don't have an auxiliary input or tape deck, then you'll have to come up with another, you can either, you'll either have to replace the radio or come up with another or an alternative means of putting uh, sound out out of your television inside of a, inside of your motor. And that's pretty much the skinny of it. It's a real simple, straightforward type job. Real easy to do. These are uh, a nice. None of this stuff is expensive. You can do this for 
oh, probably inside of 10 to $15, and you can have your television going through your car, your, your TV, your car radio, I'm sorry. What's happening, Howie? And it works perfectly this way, you can hear it. There you go. I hope that helps. Have a good evening. Okay, one more thing I just I, uh, wanted to speak about and forgot to. When you're sourcing a cable to come off the uh, television to the car stereo, do not get one like this. This has three outputs. The yellow one is for, vi is for uh, what they call component video. This will not work correctly going into your stereo. As you can see, there are several more uh, se separations in the jack. This will not work correctly in, in your uh, auxiliary input jack or in your cassette adapter. Because the proper stereo only has three separations. This one has four.